Hello Osmo community, my name is Chris. In this video, we'll be going over how to make your Osmo super fluid. But first, let's take a look at some key staking facts to keep in mind when using this service. To super fluid stake, you have to bond your assets for 14 days to unlock super fluid staking, not the one or seven day unbonding options. This is to match the unbonding time for staked Osmo. Once this is done, super fluid option will unlock and you'll be able to select a validator to stake with, since you're actively securing the network by staking. When you provide liquidity as an LP, you only earn fees and liquidity mining incentives from swaps in the pool you're providing to. However, with super fluid staking, you also earn the yield from staking the Osmo token on top. Interfluid staking, when released, will enable the fluid staking of non-Osmo tokens when LPing. The module is still under development, but when out, will bring even more yield options. It is important to note that when you superfluid stake your Osmo, the portion you have staked is at risk of being slashed if the validator you bond to double signs or has significant downtime. For this reason, I delegate to Figment. They also have an excellent track record when it comes to governance participation. And finally, the Osmo community controls the future implementations of superfluid staking and key parameters, so keep your eyes peeled for proposals to vote on or reach out to veteran Osmo community members if you would like to propose your own. It's only through education and participation that governance will truly work. If you would like to learn more about superfluid staking, I've linked some articles I found helpful in the description. How to go super fluid. Now that we know the basics, let's dive into Osmosis Zone and see how it looks when implementing super fluid staking. We can start by navigating to app.osmosis.zone. Once we're here, it'll look similar to this. If you're logging in after St. Patrick's Day, you won't have this awesome graphic. So our first step is going to be to connect our wallet. We can do that by clicking here. So now that we've got our wallet connected, we can go to pools and it's really similar across the board for all the pools. And as we talked about with Governance Proposal 176, community added UST Osmo and Luna Osmo to the superfluid staking. So let's go ahead and jump on the UST Osmo. And if you're not adding liquidity, it will look a little different. So we'll scroll down a little bit on the page and we can see this button right here. You'll have to make sure that you are on the 14 day bonding. That's gonna be the same for all, all the pools. And we'll click go superfluid. And we'll click on the Figment Validator and we will bond and stake. Low and approve. Transaction signed. Congratulations, Yay! your Osmo is now super fluid and earning additional rewards while staked to secure the network. And again, this works the same for all the pools. So we'll go ahead and activate our last one. Go super fluid, Figment, bond and stake. Approve. And there it is. Talk about a great user experience and great user interface. Osmosis has knocked it out of the park. And also, as a bonus for you guys, we can go to stake. That'll open up wallet.kepler.app. Under here, we can, under Osmos, it'll be under, under our stake account at first. Click on governance. Here's where you can see the governance proposals and vote on them. We have semi-automatic incentive adjustments. So if you were interested in knowing where the APRs are going with the pools, we can open up this Google Docs sheet and see the Atom, the Osmo Atom pool, the swap fee APR, the current APR, the new APR, and the total APR and new total APR. So you can see what direction they're going with it. And if we come down here to the, what's the other pool we're in, UST Osmo? Here we go. We can see this one's planning to increase. So you can get a good idea of which pools are doing and participate in the governance. And then if we come back out to the governance, we can scroll down here and you can see enable superfluid staking on Osmo UST. So these are from the community. So if you would like to see superfluid staking enacted on a pool that you're part of, you can do it through governance. How cool is that? If you have any questions, be sure to join Staking Hub, our one-stop shop for all things staking. I hope to see you there, and until next time, happy staking.